Hey guys, movie review in my school bus. That's right, because I'm, I'm alone out here. So it's movie review or TV show review in my school bus. Um, I'm going to review a movie called USA Ninja. 1985 is when it came out. And I do have my cheat notes, as usual, because I'm not going to sit here and learn a script. It is basically, it's about two cops investigating a drug ring that may be led by an American man who saved them when they were kids. Go figure. Go figure. But when he kidnaps one's wife, they must fight through an army of ninjas to save her. This movie was filmed in Hong Kong and it is in English. English. Not well done. I don't know if any of the actual English voices go with any of the characters. Even the English looking characters. I don't know. It's just one of those movies. You know how these are. Kung Fu movies. Ninja type movies. All these martial arts type, type movies. Uh, especially based in Asian countries and all that. You're going to get the weird voice acting and all that. That's just part of it. And I think that's part of the charm. Personally. Even when I was a kid it didn't bother me. It's just. It's a part of it. So. This movie is also known as Ninja in the USA. Um, and I'm going to probably butcher some of these names, but I'm going to give it a shot. It stars Alexander Relo, Relo or Relo, something like that, as Jerry Wong. I thought he was right, but I guess he's Wong. Uh, sorry. George Nicholas as Tiger McPherson. Great name, huh? Eugene Thomas as Luther. And I couldn't find a whole lot on any of these guys. Uh, I'm sure they're all big stars in their respective countries and their respective movie genres and such and all that. I just couldn't really find a whole lot on them. But, uh, and there's a, there's you know, a whole cast, of course, but these are your three main people. Um, it was produced by Randall Yee. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. The director is Kuren Wu. Probably not saying it correctly. Um, and just my, my whole list of notes here, I'm going to go over them. Uh, this is your basic ninja movie. Uh, there are some really nice fight scenes, but for some reason they've been sped up. Like, it's almost comical. It it really is. It's crazy. Um, it takes away... It, it don't really take away the seriousness, but you're sitting there thinking, why are they speeding this up? It don't have to, you know, it don't have to be that fast. And we know people move at a certain rate of speed. You don't have to speed these things up. Some of the dialogue is bad, and I'm not sure if the actors that looked English uh, were actually speaking it or not. Of course, I mentioned that a minute ago. Uh, most of the voice, uh, most of the voices and the accents are bad and almost spoken robotically. You know, like they're reading, like I'm reading from this card right here. I've seen better. I've seen better. Uh, I'm not sure how USA this film is, so, eh, it's okay though, it's okay. The ninja's tricks are slightly over-exaggerated. You know, we all know ninjas for their, uh, you know, all their mysteriousness and their, and their ways with, uh, controlling nature, you know, controlling the environments and all that kind of stuff, but, uh, um, but they can, like, disappear and reappear, like, out of nowhere, just like, and then back in and then back it's uh, really strange um wasn't crazy about that um it was it was kind of more magical than what you would consider more realistic you know um 
it's one thing to, you know, throw a smoke bomb or whatever those things are called. You know, it's it's one thing to do that and just and kind of disappear. But this is kind of like like explosions and 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 weird things, and you'd see them just vaporize that, you know, and reappear and kind of strange. Having said all this, it isn't bad. You just have to be willing to accept it for its flaws. And it's a pretty good time. Uh, if I had seen this back in the 80s, I would have been in love with it. Um, I went through a huge ninja stage um, in the 80s when I was a kid. I still enjoy ninja movies and kung fu movies and all that old stuff and you know uh, we don't get things like that anymore so it, it's nice to have all these I mean there's literally countless there's a countless number of these kinds of movies uh, that you can go back and watch um, I still enjoy ninja movies and I find myself in this movie wanting to fight along with them and uh, all in all, this movie is, it's decent. Uh, I think you'll have a good time with it. This movie's rating, as of right now, as an adult watching it, as a 47-year-old person watching it, for this type of movie, uh, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. And I think that's being pretty generous. But it's not horrible, it's just when you get older you kind of see kind of more flaws in, in movies and, and stuff like that. So uh, probably a 3 out of 5 is being fair, it's being pretty good. Uh, now had I seen this in the 80's it would have been a 5 out of 5. I'd have been watching it all day. So it's just one of those kind of movies. Um, so that's it, yeah. That's my review on... USA Ninja and also known as Ninja in the USA. It came out in 1985. Um, I recommend seeing it if you're a fan of uh, martial arts movies. If you're a fan of the ninja mystique and, and uh, all of that that it, in, that it entails and, and all that. I recommend seeing it if you're a fan of all that. So, I hope you enjoyed my little horrible review that I did and be on the lookout for more and more biking videos and possibly gaming videos and different things of that nature I'm still uploading pretty often so uh, like my videos subscribe watch them share them comment all that good stuff I don't have any of my videos monetized or anything and I don't believe I have any uh, advertisements anything at all uh, this channel is just for me. It's for fun. It's just to put out there and, you know, share with people. So, enjoy the movie, and we'll see you next time. Later.